Information about the Golden Retriever breed, including facts, traits, pictures, and more. Are you thinking about getting a Golden Retriever as your next pet? These dogs consistently enjoy high popularity, and with good reason. We go over the history, character traits, health issues, dietary requirements, and more of the Golden Retriever in this article. Find out if this dog is the ideal housemate for you. The American Kennel Club Sporting Group is well known for its Golden Retrievers, or Goldens, and they currently hold the third spot on the list. Gun dogs that are bred to work in the field of hunting, retrieving shot water and game birds, Goldens are akin to Labradors. The breed, however, also makes a fantastic family pet. The loyal Golden is very trainable and constantly eager to please. These puppies seem to never outgrow their puppyhood. They continue to be joyful, playful, and upbeat well into old age. Even the family cat is beloved by Golden Retrievers. You must learn more about the Golden Retriever breed before making the decision to adopt one into your family. We therefore created this guide to address all of your inquiries regarding the Honorable Golden Retriever. History the Golden was developed because Lord Tweedmouth wanted to produce the ideal gun dog in the 19th century. During the Victorian era, the Golden Retriever breed was developed. A Yellow Retriever, Flat-Coated Retriever, Red Setter, and Tweed Water Spaniel are among the breeds that are thought to have been combined to create the modern Golden. Old paintings and stud books from the time period depict dogs that are very similar to Golden Retrievers. Lord Tweedmouth, a Scottish landowner, raised these dogs on the Gasachin estate. The English Kennel Club finally categorized the breed in 1911 as retrievers. The term yellow or golden retriever became popular in 1920. In 1932, the American Kennel Club first officially recognized the golden retriever. The sporting group includes the golden retriever of today. Goldens have made a name for themselves as hunting dogs, working dogs, adored family pets, and companions in a variety of occupations, such as search and rescue, therapy, drug detection, arson detection, work with the disabled, and drug detection. Action sports like flyball, dock diving, and agility are also popular among Goldens. The Golden Retriever breed's wonderful temperament and personality are the main contributors to its enduring popularity. Temperament this nearly ideal family dog is described as playful, dependable, confident, and trustworthy, to name just a few adjectives. The Golden has a sweet, kind personality and is constantly eager to please his owner. Golden Retrievers have a strong focus on people and are affectionate. All these personality qualities will be present in a well-bred Golden. Uncontrolled breeding has, however, resulted in a few Golden Retrievers emerging in recent years with introverted, aggressive traits that can be directed toward other dogs and people. Due to their enthusiasm, Golden Retrievers have a tendency to jump up at people, which can be problematic. Early obedience training and socialization are crucial if you want to have a polite dog in your home because that can be a real problem if you have young children. Goldens are very trainable and easily adjust to necessary obedience training. If left unattended for an extended period of time, some Golden Retrievers may act out. An isolated Golden who lacks mental or physical stimulation may behave in ways such as barking, digging, chewing, and food theft. Dimension and Aesthetics In addition to having their namesake Golden Fur, Goldens are renowned for their friendly, playful eyes. Golden Retrievers are large canines. Male Goldens weigh between 65 and 75 pounds and stand between 23 and 24 inches tall at the shoulder. The height and weight range for women is 21.5 to 22.5 inches and 55 to 65 pounds, respectively. Visit our article on the Golden Retriever growth chart to learn more. These big frames are strong, sure, and confident. Their stature is symmetrical, exuding balance and poise. Their wide heads have a lateral arch and rounded stop. Kind, playful eyes with a sincere and real expression. This handsome dog is finished off by folded ears. Layers and colors. Due to the golden tones of their coats, golden retrievers get their name. 
The Golden Retriever comes in a variety of deep red to nearly white hues of rich, lustrous gold. Goldens shed heavily and have a thick, water-repellent double coat. To keep the fur under control, you'll need to put in a lot of effort. Invest in the best grooming supplies to minimize hair loss. These golden coats have a medium length and the edges of their tail, ears, and neck get a little longer. Due to its longer hair's tendency to be a little wavier than the rest of its fur, it is frequently referred to as feathering fur. The rest of the coat might be lighter than this feathered fur. To the touch, they feel silky soft. Physical Activity and Environment Golden Retrievers need a lot of exercise and they enjoy swimming. Golden Retrievers require a lot of exercise, ideally two-hour daily walks. Given that Golden Retrievers are water dogs and they enjoy swimming, you might want to take your dog to a nearby lake or beach for a fun play date. The majority of dog sports, such as dog diving, agility, and obedience, are enjoyed by Golden Retrievers and are a great way to help your dog burn off some extra energy. Tennis balls will be thrown for your Golden Retriever to fetch, providing hours of entertainment for your kids. Additionally, you can amuse your dog by teaching him tricks. However, the first two years of your puppy's life should not be spent exercising excessively. Overexertion can harm Golden's growth plates, which are still forming during that time. For the first few years of your dog's life, keep them away from any jumping-related activities. Goldens have a strong social focus. A Golden Retriever is not the best breed for you if what you want is a dog that will live happily in your yard outside. Immediately starting to bark, dig up your yard, and generally acting destructively is a lonely, frustrated Golden Retriever. A Golden must, in essence, live indoors with his human family. Due to their destructive tendencies, you should have a ton of Golden Retriever-approved dog toys lying around to keep them occupied when they aren't participating in strenuous training sessions. Ensure that your dog has the appropriate bed as well. Training Because Golden Retrievers are extremely intelligent and eager to please, training them is very doable. Owners frequently cite their Golden's intelligence and eagerness to please as two of their favorite qualities. They take to leash training quickly and adjust well to walking with a harness or leash. We advise training your dog with a harness made for golden retrievers to prevent pulling. Profit from your golden's intelligence by exposing him to a wide range of circumstances and people while he is still a puppy. Take your puppy to puppy classes once he is old enough and has completed all of his vaccinations. You might also want to look into the STAR puppy program run by the American Kennel Club. When it comes to crate training as a puppy, Goldens are also quick learners. Health You should be aware of a variety of health issues with your Golden Retriever. Although Goldens have an average lifespan of between 10 and 13 years and are generally healthy dogs, the breed is predisposed to a few genetic health issues that prospective owners should be aware of, including hemangiosarcoma backslash S lymphosarcoma, tumors with mast cells, bone malignancy, hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, and vision issues, under aortic stenosis, hemangiosarcoma. The endothelial cells that normally form blood vessels are where hemangiosarcoma, HAS, develops. There is no known cause for the illness. However, the condition can appear on the inner thighs, belly skin, eyelid membranes, and eyelids of dogs with light-colored skin such as Golden Retrievers. Lymphosarcoma. The third most frequent cancer in dogs is lymphosarcoma. Both the lymphoid tissue and the lymphocytes are impacted by the condition, a specific type of blood cell. The lymph nodes, liver, spleen, bone marrow, and digestive system are among the body parts that may be impacted. Hole dysplasia. When the head of the thigh bone does not fit snugly into the hip socket joint, hip dysplasia, an inherited condition, results. Hip dysplasia eventually progresses to chronic, painful arthritis, which calls for pricey surgical intervention to treat. Elbow dystrophy. Another inherited condition causing deformity or improper development of the elbow joint is elbow dysplasia. Osteoarthritis is the disease's ultimate cause. Aortic stenosis. 
the aortic heart valve becomes narrowed as a result of subaortic stenosis. The dog's aortic valve is the valve that opens to let blood flow from the dog's heart to the rest of the body. The valve becomes narrowed as a result of aortic stenosis, making the heart work much harder than usual to push blood through the valve. In the end, the condition causes heart muscle failure and other related issues. Other situations. Unfortunately, golden retrievers are also susceptible to a number of other non-inherited ailments, such as allergies, epilepsy, ear infections, skin conditions, hypothyroidism. Therefore, if you adopt a golden retriever, you should be ready for quite a few veterinary visits over the course of your dog's life. Pet insurance can help you pay for medical costs. Certificates of good health. Health issues that affect golden retrievers frequently run in families. Therefore, you should request a written certification from the breeder of your puppy attesting that the parents are free of the aforementioned conditions. By using the Canine Health Information Center, Sheik, database, you can look up the results of the health screenings performed on your puppy's relatives. In addition, the Golden Retriever Club of America mandates that the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals perform hip and elbow evaluations on every dog registered on Sheik, Pen HP. Additional requirements include a Canine Eye Registry Foundation Eye Clearance Check and an OFA Cardiology Exam. The Sheik database must contain the results of every test. The results that your puppy's parents and grandparents received can therefore be viewed. Your veterinarian will be able to explain everything to you if you don't understand what the scoring system for your puppy means. Nutrition The best thing you can give your dog is premium kibble that has been specially formulated for golden retrievers. The first thing to keep in mind when feeding your golden retriever puppy is that they require more frequent feedings than adult dogs. So an adult golden retriever should eat once or twice daily, whereas a puppy might require three or more small meals. It's a good idea to find out what kind of food your puppy is accustomed to eating from the breeder. After the first six months, switch the puppy to high-quality adult food specifically made for golden retrievers. Your golden will appreciate treats, and they can also be an extremely helpful training tool. A golden retriever can easily become overweight if given too much food and not enough exercise, so take care not to overfeed your dog. Follow the manufacturer's recommendations for how much to feed your dog, and if you have any questions, consult your veterinarian. Grooming To prevent excessive shedding and matting, golden retrievers need to have their coats brushed every day. To maintain a golden retriever's healthy coat and reduce excessive shedding, brush him every day. Make sure dog hair doesn't cover the furniture in your house. A golden retriever is not a good dog for you if anyone in your home has pet hair allergies or you take great pride in your home and detest chaos. They do a lot of shedding. Water is a favorite activity for golden retrievers. After your golden retriever has enjoyed a swim, give him a good rinse and clean, fresh water to remove any lake muck, sea salt, or chlorine from his coat. This is due to the fact that Goldens are prone to skin issues, so you must keep your dog's skin as clean as possible. Breeders and Puppy Prices A purebred Golden Retriever should cost between $500 and $3,000. Most litters of Golden Retrievers contain up to 8 puppies. The majority of breeders of Goldens keep their puppies until they are at least 8 weeks old. This gives the puppies enough time to start socializing and the breeder a chance to get to know each puppy's personality, enabling the breeder to match each puppy with the ideal home. On the website of the Golden Retriever Club of America, you can start your search for a Golden Retriever Puppy. Discover a breeder who has agreed to abide by the club's code of ethics, which prohibits the sale of puppies to outside agencies, at auction, and in pet shops. Basically, you need to look for a breeder who can give you written documentation proving that he had the breeding dogs examined by the proper canine health organizations. Also, if you purchase a Golden Retriever puppy, the breeder should guarantee in writing that he will accept the dog back at any time during its lifespan if you are unable to care for it. The American Kennel Club's breed page on their website is a good place to look for Golden Retriever breeders. From $500 to $3,000 can be spent on a well-bred purebred golden retriever purchased from a reliable vendor. 
Depending on your location and the parent's accomplishments, the cost may change. Undoubtedly, the English version with the lighter coating will cost more. These are simply English bred golden retrievers with a lighter coat, despite the fact that they are frequently marketed as English cream retrievers. Be wary if a golden retriever puppy is advertised for a dirt cheap price. The puppy most likely came from a backyard breeder or a puppy mill. Puppy mills or farms breed as many puppies as they can in the shortest amount of time. Making a lot of money quickly is the whole point. Unfortunately, this results in the breeding dogs living in the mills in appalling conditions. Because the costs of veterinary testing hurt the breeder's bottom line, puppy mills don't bother to have the breeding animals screened for health. Because of this, puppies from mills frequently have inherited health issues and frequently lack vaccinations or dewormings. Additionally, you should avoid small pet shops because they frequently purchase their puppies from puppy farms. Shelters and Rescue Working with a rescue group is advised if you are willing to adopt an adult golden. Sadly, there are a lot of golden retrievers waiting to be adopted out in shelters and rescue facilities all over the United States. If you are willing to provide an adult golden retriever with a forever home, you might want to look through one of these for your ideal pup. Additionally, you could look for contacts at local golden retriever clubs who might be able to point you in the direction of your ideal pet. Information about rescue centers can also be found on the PetFinder website. A word of caution, since many dogs and shelters lack a history, what you get depends on luck. You might learn that the golden retriever you choose to bring home has a lot of health issues, or maybe even has a bad temperament. Because of this, it's worthwhile to inquire at the shelter about bringing the dog home for a brief trial period of a few weeks to see if he gets along well with your family. This type of try-before-you-buy arrangement can be very beneficial to both parties. You can return the Golden Retriever to the shelter so that they can find him a more suitable home if for any reason you decide that he is not the right dog for your family. Golden Retriever mixes come in a variety of popular varieties. Corgis mixed with Goldens are among the most well-liked breeds. Husky Retriever and Goberians the Golden Chow Miniature Golden Doodle, the Golden Irish Golden Retriever Irish Setter Mix, the Golden Retriever German Shepherd Mix, the Golden Retriever Bernese Mountain Dog Mix, the Golden Retriever Cocker Spaniel Mix as family pets. The following key points will help you determine whether a Golden Retriever would make the ideal pet for you and your family now that you are more knowledgeable about the lovable, noble Golden Retriever. Don't get a Golden Retriever if you live in a small house or an apartment. These are large dogs, so they require a lot of space, as well as a play area outside. The Golden Retriever has a gorgeous, curly coat. He unfortunately sheds a lot, so you'll need to have plenty of time to groom your dog every day and not worry about the mess. If you live with people who have pet allergies, a Golden Retriever is not a good choice. Everyone, even young children and other dogs, is loved by Golden Retrievers. However, if you have young children who could be injured by a boisterous, unruly golden, that could be a problem. Avoid getting a golden retriever if you don't like being active outside, whether it be walking, jogging, or cycling. The golden retriever may be the best breed for you and your family if you'd like to try canine sports like dock diving, agility, or obedience. Golden retrievers dislike being kept apart from their human family for extended periods of time. Your golden would not be content to live outside because of this. Excessive barking and destructive behavior may result from separation anxiety. So if your family enjoys being active and outdoorsy and you have a big house with a backyard, a golden retriever would make the ideal family pet. Golden retrievers enjoy spending time with children and other animals, so they are happy in a busy home with a variety of residents of all ages and species. When the time comes, be sure to choose the ideal name for your golden retriever. Final remarks. So, if you're looking for a dog friend who gets along with everyone, including children and other pets, a golden retriever might be the best option. Golden retrievers enjoy being active, so they will happily accompany you on hikes, beach excursions, and bike rides. Your Golden will gladly participate in many dog sports, such as agility, dog diving, and obedience, if you want to compete. 
The fact that golden retrievers shit a lot means that you will need to be ready to set aside a lot of time each day to groom your dog. And you won't mind having dog hair on your clothes, carpets, and upholstery. Good luck in your search for the ideal canine friend.